Executive producer, Kathy Mangum, and senior concept writer-director, Kevin Rafferty. Carson! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are so thrilled to be able to stand here and give you not just a preview of Cars Land, but this beautiful, beautiful view into it. And I just want to point out, look how small those guys are up on, that, on those uh, Cadillac Don't they look fans. real? <laughs> <laughs> it is just the, the scale of this project, the scale of Cars Land is just so incredible, and it is really going to immerse our guests into the world of cars, into the movie of cars. Mm -hmm. We're building Radiator Springs, a town of Radiator Springs, and we've got three attractions and, and merchandise and food, and we're going to take you through um, the whole thing. It's really going to, we're, we're just so excited. So next year, 2012. So this is a beautiful view. One thing we should point out is it's one of the entrances into Cars Land. You're actually sitting on what will be walkway from Pacific Wharf, Wharf into Cars Land, but our main entrance is just a few feet down that way um, to the east, and that is right across from the Blue Sky Cellar, and that is going to be Route 66 going into the town of Radiator Springs, which is what this rendering shows right now. So what we thought we'd do today is sort of walk you down the street, tell you what's going to be in each facility and what each attraction is going to be like, and then take you on a real tour of it. Since we can't go walk it, we're going to do it uh, virtually with a, a video. So let's get started. Uh, just like in the movie, just like in the real Radiator Springs, the outskirts of town is where Mater lives, and Mater's junkyard. And we are no different. Outside, we will have Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, which is going to think of it as like a giant square dance where our guests will be pulled around by these really cute baby tractors in these little trailers, and Mater is singing songs the entire time. Yeah, we're writing uh, brand new songs for Mater to sing, and uh, just so you know, we did a little mock-up of this arrangement at Imagineering. We, we had a tractor, and we hooked up a little trailer to it, and we did a little course that's going to take place at Mater Junkyard Jamboree. And as Mater would say, it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And here's our little baby tractor and the trailer. This is an actual ride vehicle that we have built and painted up. So you can just see how in, uh, appealing these guys are going to be out there dancing around. Right across the street from Mater Junkyard Jamboree is Fillmore's Taste In. And Fillmore, you know, he's all natural. He's yeah. a natural guy. So he's going to be serving fruit and juices and nuts. This is a snack food location, but sort of more natural foods. And then he's right next door to his kind of cranky neighbor, Sarge, at Sarge's Surplus Hut. So we'll have a, a Quonset hut out a there. A little more manicured than Fillmore. Uh, slightly more manicured. A little bit down the way is the Cozy Cones, Sally's Cozy Cones. Now, Sally is all about cones, so we've got five cones. In the movie, those cones actually serve as motel rooms. In this case, we're going to serve snack food out of each cone, snack food such as? Such as pop cone, chili cone, carny, and? Frozen cone coction. Yeah. So we got a million of them, but we, like, we can only do five. Well, Sally's having this great <laughs> food conanza today, so you just happen to be here on the right day. You'll sit under cone-shaped umbrellas outside and eat your cone food. And then right next door to that is Radiator Springs Curio Shop, a really beautiful little shop that will um, sell pens and small um, merchandise, small items. And these, this is obviously taken from the movie, but we are really propping it out based on some of the Route 66 trips that we took yeah. for these wonderful curio shops that you see along the way in Hackberry, Arizona, or Tucumcari, yeah. New Mexico. We had this great, our core creative team went on this Route 66 road trip for research, and we went into all the curio shops and went off the beaten path and met all the people and ate all the food along the way. Yeah, we had too much, too much pie. Yeah. But, uh, but we got to go inside the curio shop shops along the way. And the great thing about that is in the film, you never really got to go into these places. You didn't get to go into Flo's VA Cafe and the Curio Shop, but you will be able to step into these places and learn a little bit more about the characters, your favorite characters from the film. So speaking of food, because we did eat a lot of it on Route 66, we've got Flo's V8 Cafe. Um, wonderful food that will be that has been inspired by what you get on Route 66. A lot of comfort food, a lot of macaroni and cheese, really savory sandwiches, and one thing that we fell in love with was pie. A lot of pie. A lot of pie. And inside of Flo's, 
we get to learn the backstory of Flo, Flo when she was part of the Motorama Girls, the touring group out of Detroit, and so we get to see a lot of her gold records and the posters from their tours, and also as part of that, Doc's Museum is going to pay tribute to Doc Hudson, Fabulous 51 Hornet, and you'll be able to see all his backstory within the dining area of Flo's V8. Lots and lots of detail in here. We're having so much fun with it. And then right next door to Flo's is Ramon's House of Body Art. Now, Ramon in the shop, or in the movie, you know, he's he can paint, he can style, he can really paint you up. So Ramon's House of Body Art is going to be beautifully done and it's a merchandise location for us for um, Cars Land product. And across from Ramon's is our second attraction. We have three attractions in the land. Mater's Junkyard Jamboree and in the back of uh, Luigi's Casa de la Tires will be housed Luigi's Flying Tires. So you will pass through Luigi's showroom where all of his Fettuccine brand tires will be beautifully displayed. And you'll walk out into the back and you'll go into his tire yard and you will be able to experience Luigi's Flying Tires. Well, Luigi and Guido will hook up their air compressor because they're in their tire business. And they will hook up their air compressor to the storage yard out back and as they do that you will literally lift up off the ground and float on air.